Josh Green here for Seconds Out. I'd like to be joined by Lewis Ritson over Zoom. Thank you very much for joining me, Lewis. Um, delighted to be with Box from Sky, I'm sure. Just, just tell me how you're feeling. Yeah, good. You know, it's the start of a new era, isn't it? You know, like uh, the box I have of, of, on Sky now and uh, going to be taking, taking it forward from here. And, you know, I like what they've heard on they're trying to make Newcastle like the, the capital of the UK for boxing, which was always music to my ears being from up here. And uh, obviously fighting the arena a few times now. So, yeah, happy, happy, happy to be here and happy with uh, stuff going forward. Does it feel like a bit of a fresh start for yourself? Because... Obviously, it didn't quite go as planned last time out, but back on Sky and, and ready to go again. Yeah, you know, this has been my 12th or 13th fight on Sky now. You know, I'm only 27. I'm feeling like a bit of a little bit of a veteran now, which, you know, <laughs> I'm still a young pup, do you know what I mean? So, but it's good, yeah. They're, you know, they're bringing all the, the local talent through and we've got Savannah and Savannah defending her world title on it, which is obviously always good and Huey top in the build. So, they bring the big cards up and the big names and uh, I'm just happy to be part of it. You mentioned it there, plenty of local talent up in the northeast, and obviously there'll be plenty of fans there in a couple of weeks' time. How excited are you to, to fight in front of a, a full crowd once again? Yeah, really excited, you know, the, the, uh, the bring the noise, you know, the atmosphere is through the roof, and uh, the blading races gets played, and the old sing along chair and go mad. So, no, it's nice, and uh, it'd be nice for everyone just to get out and enjoy themselves, and hopefully that's, that's what they'll do. And just if you don't mind, just going back to your previous fight against Helenius Ponce, I mean, obviously not the result you wanted on the night, but after the fight, obviously Steve Gray went to the changing room. Was that, was that a bit of a, a surprise for you? Because that's something we don't very see very often in boxing. No, well, I think obviously he might have got put in a little bit of a position where he had to, you know, when I had no problem chucking the, him chucking the towel out, to be fair. It wasn't really, it wasn't like a head shot that hurt, it was just a body shot, you know, like, so I wasn't really bothered about Steve Gray hiding the towel. I didn't, I didn't think you had to explain yourself, really. He's a referee. He's can see firsthand better than anybody in there. And they decided to chuck it out, which is which was fair enough, you know. So um, I wasn't really bothered about that. But no, it was nice for him to come in and explain himself, but he, he didn't need to, you know, we fight as we know what we're we know what we're in for. You get hit, don't you? So yeah. and that's that's all that was happening. So no, like I say, it was uh, it was gonna be a good night and, and stuff, but he didn't have to uh, he didn't have to come and explain himself. Hmm. I mean, I assume you were you were back in the gym not too long afterwards. I mean you had a long camp leading up to this, and I spoke to Savannah earlier. She's been in camp for a long, long time, and I'm sure it's a similar story for yourself. Yeah, we had a, a few weeks off after the punch, but to be fair, we haven't really had a, a massive full camp because we didn't think we'll be fighting until the end, end, end of this year. And uh, obviously got the phone call. Uh, it was seven weeks' notice. Hadn't really done any spawn at all or anything, so it's a bit a bit different this time for me. It's uh, Instead of having a full camp where you go mad, it's sort of... You've got seven seven weeks sort of sort yourself out. So, but we'll be in the gym, we'll keep fit and that. So, uh, not be not be a problem come fight night. It's been very stop st stop start year for so many boxers. But the fact that shortly after signing with with Sky and Boxer, you've got a, a fight just just in just two weeks time must be very exciting to and and sort of the fact that you've got it so soon must be a great sign. Yeah, it's good. You know, I obviously heard what Boxer had to say. I'm happy happy with what the. Uh, what they come out with, and the, you know, like I say, they're going to make try and make Newcastle like the fight capital of the UK. So there's going to be plenty, plenty of opportunities to get fights. But uh, you know, the, the rang and jump straight on board, and I'm happy. So yeah, they're going to be going to be active, and and you know, we're going to be back where we were quite soon. Yeah, and just any news on an opponent? Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anybody. Oh, well, I got offered uh, offered a few last last week, but I haven't heard really much since then. I was meant to hand about a few more today. That we'll get who we're getting, whoever we're given, we'll just have to deal with them on fight night. Oh, brilliant. Well, thanks for your time, Lewis. Really appreciate it, and I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>